just gets weirder and weirder. Just keeps getting weirder and weirder. So I've spent the past five weeks living in Goa, working on myself and having a spiritual awakening and letting my mind and body come together as one. But now, I am in the deep south of India. The deep, deep, deep south. I've never been here before. I'm in a place called Tamil Nadu. Right now, I'm at the, the bottom of it. So I'm about as south as you could possibly go. And I haven't got a plan. For the next two weeks, I have zero plan. I'm just gonna be traveling the old fashioned way, I think, and uh, exploring the bollocks off of this state. It'll be fun. Hi, brother. How are you? How are you? You okay? Where are you from? Now good coil. You speak any English? Slightly. Little English. English only. English only. You speak English. No Hindi. No Hindi. What's your name? Asan. Again? Asan. Asan. Nice to meet you, Asan. Asan, I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to um Matam. Matam. How do I go there? Bus. That guy was kind of shifty. He was like, feelings? What's your feelings? I was like, uh, feel good, bro. I feel okay. And then I tried talking to him, but I don't think his English was good. And he said, are you part of the news? And I said, yeah, I'm part of the news. Right. So I'm currently in a place called Naga Coil. Naga Coil uh, in Tamil Nadu. I believe that this writing here, this is all Tamil. Tamil. It's like squiggly... Squiggle, squiggles. Tamil is just a squiggle language, uh, which no one can actually read, even the people from here, they just pretend to read it because no one can read that because it's just squiggles. Right, I've got a feeling that we've come off the tourist trail a little bit, which means that it's gonna be a lot more difficult to find the places that we wanna to go to. Now there is, a, there is a beach town called Muttam. Never heard of it in my life. But it's supposed to be a cute little beach town. I'm gonna to try and head there. Uh, the data on my phone is dead because I spent all my time watching Instagram bloody reels on the train, which is brilliant. So we're gonna to have to figure it out, man. I think it's like an hour away. I don't know. Join me, join me for the journey. I'm trying to reach Muttam. Huh? Matam. You know Matam? No, Matam. M U T T. Mutam. 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 How do I get to Mutam? Uh, this side to 14 kilometers. 14. 14. One four. Which way? This way or this way? This way. This way. So if I go in a straight line this way, I'll get to Mutam. So, so half, uh, half kilometer straight. Then uh, right. Half kilometer straight and then right. Yeah. Mate, first that guy was a tuk-tuk driver, yeah? And he's probably the nicest tuk-tuk driver I've ever met in my entire life. He didn't say, I'll take you there, I'll take you there and I'll charge you fucking 300 rupees, 400, 700 thousand rupees. He said, go this way and then go this way and go this way. I like Tamil Nadu so far. I am fucking thirsty, man, and it's so hot out here. Hey, there's my brother. This is the same guy from the train station. You have biddies? Can I have Biddy? Okay, you come from where only? What is your native place? My native place is England. Okay, you come from England, okay. So yeah. I'm, I'm a teacher, I'm talking to you, but I'm now in the beggar position only. You are? I don't know you're now not eating your food also, I have no money, okay? You're a beggar, you, you've, you've got bloody good English for a beggar. Okay, because before bloody 1989, I'm the state first of Tamil Nadu. My name is Balachandra. Your name is? Balachandra. Balachandra, nice to meet you, brother. Uh -huh. My name is Mike OK. Mike UK. Mike yeah. OK. Okay, Mike UK, okay. <laughs> you have to be travel to be a lot of the places. Always also. traveling, thank you, brother. Because, because the naturality is on scenery, but the nature doesn't themselves. The man is the only creature that loves the nature only. Yeah. Finally, the man going to the sand only. Yeah, 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 yeah. I full heartedly agree. Okay, thank, thank you, brother. You. Thank you. Thank Take you. it easy. Balachandra. Balak. Bala Entral, Sivan and Tripurul, Chandar Entral. 20 rupees, my friend. Okay, thank you so much, okay? That was my, that was my Coca Cola money. That's my Coca Cola money gone. Can I have a biddy, brother? One minute. Brother, you have cold drinks? Very cold. Oh, that's good. You want some? You have any biddies? Biddy? This is the dude I met at the train station. Indian biddy. Indian biddy, I like Indian biddies. 
So the place, brother, I'm trying to go to Mutum. You know Mutum? Mutum, Mutum. Which way? This way. Um, how do I get to Mutum? Mutum, 25 kilometers. How? Oh, how do I go? I, I, I have seen the bus, bus also number again. There's a local bus. That is the bus way only, okay? So all the bus are going I'll there only. Here. Okay, I'll take you. You have to be really only you have to be Um I guess we're going with this guy now then. Where are we going, brother? Where we go? Bus stand. Bus stand, yeah. Could go bus stand. So I guess this is Naga Coil. I uh, never heard of it in my life. And I don't think it's particularly a place where people, tourists, come to, at Indian. least. Indians. Scientist. Hey, you're a scientist. Scientist. Scientist, apparently. I'm coming. You're coming? Ah. No, you can't come. I mean, <laughs> you want to come to Mutton. Ah. You. Ah. What? I'm coming here, no. Mutum. No, I, I'm going to Mutton. I'm coming here, you. You want to come? Ah. I don't think you can come to Mutton with me, brother. Because I'm gonna go and sleep there. I'm gonna go there for sleeping. Sleeping kidder. Why? So I don't know if you want to come with me. I think you should go to your home and I should go to Mutton. Yeah. This guy wants to come to Mutton with me. Um Yeah. Lunch. Lunch, yeah, lunch uh, have finished. I'll have lunch later. I think I'll have I'll have lunch in Mutum. I'll have lunch in Mutum. You go home. You have your lunch. I'm a free boy. I am. Hmm? I am free boy. You're free. Oh, it's okay. I don't. I don't. It's okay. I will just go to Mutum by myself. Are you coming or no? No, I think no. You're not coming. You go home. You go. I just go. Only me. Oh. But thank you so much for walking with me. Okay. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Take care. Thank you. I'll wait here, okay? Stop my bus. This way. Thank you, brother. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. We're gonna jump in this bus. Fuck it. I haven't got a bloody clue where it goes. Brilliant. The bus essentially just turned around and took me back to Naga Coil. So now I'm back in Naga Coil. Excellent. How are you? Not good, nice to meet you. You guys are delivering food to people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To the homeless? Yes. Wow, good job. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. See you guys, take care, bye bye. That looked like a, a, a bus, a little mini bus or a minivan of people going around and delivering food to the homeless people here in Naga Coil. And soon they're going to be delivering food to me because I'm going to be homeless soon. Because I'm never going to get out of Naga Coil. Something I've realised here in Naga, something I've realised here in Naga Coil, uh, all, all the bus, every single bus stop is just filled with, filled with women. It's only women at all the bus stops. Each bus stop's got like 30, 40 women. Don't know why that is. Anyone knows? Please enlighten me. Brother. Mutam. 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 Bus stop. Mutam bus, this one. Ah, bus, 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 bus. 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 Um, let's get the bus. Let's get the bloody bus. Let's go back to all the women at the bus stop. See, there's so many women. It's my friend. He's found me again. Listen, this is the mutton bus. This dude, I saw him at the train station, and then he walked to the wanted to come to mutton with me. And now he's, I know what he's doing. He's here to beat the women. He's here to pick up women from the bus stops. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Mutton, mutton. Mutton, no. Mutum is bus stop here. Mutum this way. Mutum this way. Mutum is here. This bus stop, 14D. 
Those two, mug them. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I think he might be a serial killer. Uh, because he's a weird guy. He is a weird dude. He's gonna, I guarantee you'll see him in Muttum. If, if he doesn't turn up in Muttum, I'll eat my hat. I'm trying to go to Muttum. You know Muttum? Muttum, Muttum. Which bus, do you know which bus? 14D. 14D, thank you so much. Can I ask you a question? In Naga Coil here, at all the bus stations, mm. it's many women. Yeah. Where are all the men? Where are, where are all the men? All are working. All are working. Studying. Studying, because there's so many women here. Yeah. Government provides free bus transport plans for facilities for women only in Tamil Nadu. Really? Ah, uh, yeah. So women... Only, uh, <laughs> women don't pay for buses here? No. It's free travel, ah, only for women. Only women. Ah, okay, government, government, government buses. Ah, okay. That's what we found out. We found out that here in everywhere in Tamil Nadu, yeah. everywhere, yeah. everywhere in Tamil Nadu, government buses are free for women, and that's why we've seen at all the bus stops so many women. And why why is this? Why do they why do they give free free travel for women? Why? <laughs> encourage the women to financially support Okay, encourage the women to go around and uh, instead of staying at home. Uh, yeah. ah, okay. Manage the family. Yeah, excellent. Thank you for explaining that. Ex okay, yeah. sure. So it's inc <coughs> it's encouraging women to not yeah, be so yeah, yeah, yeah. codependent on men. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Hi, brother. Hi. How are you? Hi. You got a water bottle for what? What for? I, for petrol. Well, I have it. For gas. Yeah. Excellent. See you, brother. Oh, bye. I think the women getting free bus uh, service here in India or here in Tamil Nadu is a brilliant idea. It wouldn't work in the UK because anybody can identify as a woman. I'm going to try that on the bus actually. Right, we're going to squeeze down. It's getting busy on this bus now. Brother, I'm going to squeeze down here. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Uh, yeah, mutum, mutum. I'm a woman. Only one. I'm a lady. Only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm a, I'm a woman. Only one. <laughs> He's not having it. He's not having it. How much, brother? Let's go talk to all the all the boys on the bus. Let's uh, let's go and talk to them. Boys. You all just finished school. Yeah. Uh, how old are you? How old are you? 17, 18? Yeah. You're ready for university soon? Very nice. You are from here in Nagakoil? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Can you teach me some Tamil words? Yeah. How, to, how to say thank you in Tamil? Again? Nan? Nandri. 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 Ah, okay. Nandri, Nandri, Nandri. And is there like a greeting, like hello? Wanakam. Wanakam. Yeah, teach me some, teach me some bad words too. I want to know the, I want to know the bad words. How do I swear? How do I say idiot? Here you go, sir. Twenty. You can keep the change. Thank you. Okay, well, it only took us about this way. Sure, this guy reckons he knows where I want to go. I'll go this way. Thank you, chaps. Um, it only took us about three hours to travel 17 kilometers. But we're in Mutam. We made it to Mutam. Now we're going to find somewhere to stay. Nandri! Ah, how are you? Ah, very good. How are you? Good to see you. 
What's your name, sir? Ah. Ah, I don't understand. I don't understand. Sir, where can I find a hotel? Is this guy okay? Is he okay? Yeah. Everybody okay? <laughs> I've got a feeling alcohol is legal here in Tamil Nadu. Where is the hotel, sir? Where can I find a hotel? Hotel. Guest house. Sleeping. Huh. Okay. Beach. Beach this way. This way. Thank you, sir. This is like a proper little rural fishing village where I reckon most of the men, especially the older ones, spend their days getting shit-faced. I'm trying to find a hotel. hotel. Is there a hotel anywhere? Hotel is there. Hotel's this way. How uh, far? Uh, left, left, left. Left, left or uh. down this way, straight. Uh, left to go straight. Let's go straight. 200 meters and right side hotel. There's no hotel this way? No, this is beach. This is only beach? Yeah. Hotel this way? Yeah. Thank you, sir. YouTuber? Yes. Mike OK. Mike? M I K E O K A Y. Mike OK. Mike OK. Type in Mike O, you'll find. Yeah. Sir, you speak English? No, English. Is there a hotel? Hotel. This way? Yeah. This way. Two Not this. Two kilometer? Yeah. That's too far. So you speak English? No? Hotel? You don't know? I'm not here. You're not from here? Huh. Oh. Okay. We're gonna ask these young lads. I reckon they speak a bit of English. English. Guest house? No, no. No hotel? No, no, no. House, hotel. Or guest house, not hotel, guest house. They have a room? I'm looking for a room. This way? Beach. Go to the beach? Go up. How many how many minutes? Kidna minute. Five minutes? Huh. Five minutes, okay, thank you. I want to go to a guest house. Guest house. Guest house? How much? This way. Walking. This way. Auto? Five minutes. Half kilometer. Half kilometer. Oh, you don't want to take me? No. Okay, no worries. Hey, I reckon that the auto drivers here in uh, Tamil Nadu don't want to make any money. You told if I walk in this way, I'll get to a guest house. You might be thinking, Mike, why did you travel to a fishing village in the middle of bloody nowhere uh, on the coast of Tamil Nadu that doesn't seem to have a guest house or anything else for that matter? And the answer is, I don't know. I looked at a map, I looked at a map and I, I thought, where would be cool to go to? And I just looked at a beach, I found there was a beach here. And to be honest with you, it looks, it, you probably can't see it very well because of the sun. But we'll take, I'll take you down there. I'll take you down there and we'll have a look. I just wanted to come somewhere, I don't know, I wanted to maybe be alone for a few days. And I thought this would be a good spot to come to. Um, is it full of alcoholic crazy dudes? Yes, it is. Hello, hello, hello sir, hi. good. Uh, yeah, it is. But I'm thinking maybe I find a wine shop and uh, join them for a little bit. If I don't manage to find a guest house, it's okay, because there does seem to be a bunch of abandoned buildings that line the coast, like this one here, or like this one here, or like this one here. I'm looking for a guest house. This way. I'm looking for a room. Room? Yeah, guest house. Walking this way? Yeah, this way. The first right. First right. Okay. Your English is very good. No. <laughs> it is. You're from Mutam? Yes. Nice. It's a good place? 
Huh? It's a good place? Yeah, good place. It's natural view. Yeah, why is there no tourists here? No, it's okay. Why is there no tourists here? Yeah, tourist area, this one only. Okay. After that side, that side in the harbor. You looking for harbor? No, no, no. Guest house, room. Guest house? Yeah. This way. First way. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, one question. One question. Brother, is there a wine shop? Somewhere to buy beer? Wine shop? Somewhere you, to buy beer? You after coming, I give contact. Okay, for beer? Yeah, yeah I am still here. Oh, okay. cold okay. beer. Very cold, cold beer. Thank you. Right, we've got our first contact for ice cold beer. I'm doing a meditation retreat in two weeks. So I'm just seeing these next two weeks as like, I can get a cold beer. I can have a couple of cigarettes. I think this is the guest house he's talking about. The Salvation Army Red Shield House and Retreat Center Muttum. Hello, madam. You have a room? One. One day. One night. Tomorrow, Tomorrow leaving. Tomorrow evening. Tomorrow leaving. England. Huh? I'm from England, London. Uh, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Headquarters. Yes. A major. Qu headquarters for Salvation Army. Army. Uh, yeah. Salvation Army officers. I love the Salvation Army. Uh -huh. Go Salvation Army. I love them. Uh -huh. Um, One day's room, thousand rupees. Thousand rupees, that's expensive. Mm. Oh, it's too much for me. Too much for me. I need, I, I can uh -huh. do, I do 700. Seven? 700. Huh. 700. Huh? Yeah. Uh. It's okay? Uh. Thank you so much. Cool, thank you. Night. AC? Uh. Nice. At night, room shift. There are other other members. Three room available. Right? No, other. Other. Next room change. Other members room. Other person. Room. Other person ah. booked here. Ah. Ah. No. Ah. But book. Anna. This. But the next room change. May. That was the most bizarre experience I've ever had with accommodation in India. It's a Salvation Army, let me just break that down. Salvation Army room, which whatever that means. How much is the place? It's a thousand. Uh, I can't pay that much. Can you pay 700? She goes, yeah. Which makes, it feel, makes me feel like I probably could have got it for cheaper. And then she, <laughs> she says, you need to check out of this room at nine o'clock and go into this room at 9 p.m. And then I just said, where can I get food? And she said, oh, just go to the hotel up the road. Which I feel like would have been, would have, I don't know. Welcome to Mutam. That was bizarre. I still don't understand what the whole Salvation Army retreat center is. Uh, I'm gonna go to the beach. Just check the beach out. I need to check it out. Um, and um, find some food, which apparently is at a hotel, which I could have bloody stayed at. And then go to bed because this whole day is just taking it out of me. It really has taken it out of me. That was a journey, man. What the fuck? Where am I? It's just like a bunch of abandoned buildings. What the hell? Mutton is a beach town surrounded with abandoned buildings. Fucking hell, let's go and check this out. This is actually quite creepy, man. This is actually quite scary. There's people in here. Oh, 
Hi, chaps. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Uh, please do the Sure, sure, sure. Turning the camera off. This is an old abandoned boat making yard, which was from the colonial times, right? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. From the colonial times. And it's, um, it's been abandoned ever since then. And they're still... So you're saying, are these, are these boats 60 years old? Yes, more than 60 years old. The boats are 100 years old. Yes, yes. These boats are 100 years old. How do I get down there? This way? This way. This way round. Thank you, bro. Thank you, brother. Take it easy. Those boys didn't want me filming them because they were on the source. And they're probably, I don't know, Hindus. Wow. I don't know if I believe that, man. This is a, a boat. Hi, brother. A boat making yard from before 1947, meaning that it's a British colonial shit making yard, which means that these boats, these boys are doing a, a photo shoot on their new motorbike. That's cool. MP. Yeah, it's a nice bike. Is this your bike? My bike. Nice, so nice, bro. How are you, brother? You okay? Uh -huh. nice. You're from here? Are you from here? Yeah. You're from Makkam? Ah, how far is that? Uh, Close? Cl how many kilometers? Four languages. Oh, okay. It's okay. Sorry. No so, no th th that means that these boats are like 80 years old. What? No way. There was a, there's a lot of things that, um, that thrived when the British were here. And then when they left, unfortunately, a lot of them just got dropped, got abandoned. Uh, but this is awesome. Look at this courtyard that I'm in. Just full of old boats, half, half made boats. Mutum is, I feel like I'm in a dream. Am I in a dream? This is weird. It doesn't feel real. Ooh. Just gets weirder and weirder. Just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Hello, sir. <laughs> this is nuts, mate. Hello, sir. How are you? It's okay. Just saying hello. Hello. You're you're from here. You're from Mutam. Uh, I I am from Nagarkoil. Nagarkoil. Ah. But like you're, town, town. you're staying here. No, I'm working in a film. Filming. Ah uh, yes. They're filming here. Yeah yeah. Wow. What are they filming? Uh, this is only web series. Web series. Uh, cool. Do you need any? Do you need any handsome actors? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you. You know somewhere I can find some food here? Huh? Ten to twelve kilometers. Oh, there's nowhere close to get food. Here, no here. Nowhere here to not get there. food. Here, not good. Not good. I, I'll take anything. I want anything. Who's your guide? No guide. Ah, uh, only phone. The, what is this? Only guide? phone is my guide. Exactly. Okay. And my camera. That's a good camera. It's a very good camera. It's a very much, nice camera. Cost? This cost about forty thousand rupees. Four? Four, about four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars means uh, rupees. About thirty-five thousand. Huh? Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. Huh? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, brother. This is a movie camera, is it? Yeah, no, not movie camera, but just for YouTube. Oh. Yeah. Uh, anyway, listen, I gotta, I'm going to the beach. Okay, fine. Nice fine, to meet fine, you. Nice to meet fine, you. Thank you. I'm going to watch the sunset. Nice to meet you, brother. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There's no food anywhere, apparently. You go there. Okay, yeah, just to the beach. Thank nice. you, brother. Drive slowly, okay? Oh, okay. Drive careful. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, sir. He's taking me to the beach. Thank you, brother. England. Yeah, England, England. London. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, brother. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. Good, thank you. You have ice creams? Okay, I'll take an ice cream. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Excellent. 30 rupees, charge me 40. Love that. Mm. This might be my dinner. Hi. This is a really nice beach, isn't it? Super nice beach. It's a nice beach. Yeah, it's a very nice beach. It's a very nice beach. Why isn't it more popular? This is better than some of the beaches in Goa. Hello, sir. Oh. How are you? Good. Good. This is a really nice beach. Look at this. We've got these cool rock formations here. We've got these cool rock formations here. Sea looks beautiful. Getting that in the morning, definitely. Okay, we're going to end that there because I don't think that today's going to get any weirder than it has already. So I'll leave you with a beautiful Mudam sunset. <laughs>